Okay, so I'm going to go through all, uh, how to texture objects inside Blender. So I'm going to build a simple skyscraper. It'll just be a, a big cube. I also build a, a floor for the skyscraper and put a simple uh, concrete texture on it. So multiple textures on the same object. So for starters, let's go ahead and go into edit mode on our cube and wireframe. And grab the top, top vertices. We're just going to grab and move that up. And I want my building to be a little wide, so I want to take the entire thing and scale in the X, make it a little wider. Okay, so we have a very simple skyscraper. We also want to go ahead and create the floor, so let's put the uh, floor, we'll just gonna, we're just going to make it a plane. So let's put our 3D cursor here for, so when we add our plane, it's centered on the skyscraper. So select the bottom vertices, go to Shift S and Cursor to Selected top view. Now we want to add our plane. We can deselect all vertices and shift A, plane. We just want to scale it out. Make it big enough. Okay. So we have our skyscraper and our floor. So let's go ahead and texture the floor first since that will be easier. So let me get rid of those windows. In order to texture First, we're going to need, of course, textures like images. So, this image, this tile concrete image, once it loads, thank you. And we're going to apply the skyscraper texture to the actual skyscraper. So, those are the two images I'm going to use. So, in order to texture, you need a UV image editor. So, we need to split our windows. decides to work. Okay, split area. Once you've done that, we need to change this window type to UV image editor. You'll see this grid right here. Okay. So we need to give tell Blender where that, that texture file is. First we need to create a material. So over here you'll see this spherical button called material click it and I always leave the default material there so press the plus sign and then new and then name this so I'm going to name it concrete tile enter so we've created a material and we need to play a texture on that material so go to this textures button right here this checkerboard looking thing then we want to press new and by default, the type is clouds. We need to change that to image or movie. Okay, now we need to link that image to this texture. So scroll down, and you'll see under image, we have open. Press open and locate your texture. So mine's on my desktop. Uh, tile. Okay, and you can see the image right here. So once we have that, we're now ready to map our texture onto our floor. So while you're in edit mode inside this 3D window, change your view to texture. To better illustrate this, I'm going to get rid of my, uh, this light. Okay, now everything is white. That means there's no textures on it. So I'm going to go to top view, go back and edit. I want to select this face, the floor, only the floor. You can see that it's selected. I'm going to stay in top view and you'll see why later. So once I have that face selected, I can press this over in my UV image editor. I can browse for the image and there's tile. I'm going to click tile, but I need to UV map it. So. It's on there, but let's UV map it. So with your mouse over here in the 3D view, press U. And for something like a square, I normally use project from view bounds whenever it's a perfect square. And you can see that it added it on there. These tiles are a little big. So what I can do is, oops, let me, okay, accidentally undo there. Undid or whatever. Um, 
what I can actually do to make it repeat is I can go over here to my image editor and scale it and it'll constantly repeat you can see how that works if I want the tiles to be bigger I'll scale down if I want them to repeat I'll just keep scaling out just want to keep scaling out some more okay that's that's fine with me and that's the basic procedure to texture an image texture and mesh not an image Okay, so now let's go ahead and put a texture on our skyscraper. So, we need to add another one. Oh, something else I need to point out. Since we're doing UV image uh, mapping, right here, whenever you have a texture, you want to change your mapping coordinates to UV, not generated. You want to change it to UV. It's also extremely important if you're using a game engine like Unity or something. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and make another texture using that skyscraper image. So we're going to go back to material. We're going to add a new one, plus sign, and then press new. This one I'm going to name uh, building. We'll go to the textures button and press new. Change the clouds, change the type from clouds to image or movie. Scroll down. Under image, we're going to go to open. We're going to locate our texture. So, and mine's named skyscraper. And now we have this, this skyscraper image inside Blender. And we want to change coordinates to UV. Be sure to do that. Okay, so now we can just slap those textures on the skyscraper. So. So this is going to be a simple skyscraper. I'm going to select both of these faces because they're essentially going to have the same UV map on it. So I'm just going to select both of those faces. I want to go to front view. And once I'm in front view, I'll do the same thing I did before. Locate the texture, skyscraper. It's on there, but I want to project from view. This time I want to do just project from view. I only use bounds whenever it's, I want a perfect square. So project from view. And we'll need to scale it so we can fit it on there. Fit whatever size we want on there. You can also move it around, shift it around like that. Inside the UV image editor. You can also scale it. So I'm going to scale mine out. Some minor tweaking. Okay, that's that's fine. And you'll see that this is also on that side. So this is the reason why you want, always want to do it. Whenever you have something like this, you always want to do it flat. So for something like this, I would switch to like side mode. If you were to do it in a perspective mode like this, when you try to add it and project from view, that's exactly what you're going to do. You're going to project from your view and it's not a flat surface. So you get weird results like that. So I'm going to go to side view and project from view. And I need to scale this just like I did before. It doesn't need to be perfect. That is fine with me. And you can see the texture on all sides. top uh, I obviously don't want it to have the same texture so I'm just going to give it that concrete texture just so I don't have any any blank faces so I'm going to switch to top view I'm going to have this top top face selected and I'm going to say tile and I want to project from view bounds no just project from view because this is a perfect square so and then from there I can scale if I want to make it smaller Same, same idea. And that's how you texture inside Blender.